we really need to get into the field and actually look at what's going on around us to make sure that what is on the map is actually a reflection of what's there in reality. Because we're still in the site selection process, this is very, very preliminary type work. So it's, it's more to inform the choices we make during the site characterization process as opposed to assessing the environment of an actual site. The, the aquatic studies uh, focus on uh, water environments, so streams, rivers, and then the, the habitats that they create and the species that might live in those habitats. The terrestrial work focuses on, on, on dry ground and they look for the same things, wildlife that may use that area or have been sighted in that area, different habitat types, different forest types, different plant types that all contribute to the type of ecosystem, the type of community that is in that actual location. We have two pieces of equipment we're really using out here. That's the camera and the GPS. And we come to a place of interest, we can take a waypoint with the GPS, then take pictures of the area that are associated with it, then bring it up on our program so that everyone can see where that location is and, and what we're looking at there. Have a basic soil auger. It bores down into the forest canopy about uh, up to a, up to a meter, and we basically take samples of the sediment. We use actually both minnow traps, gill nets, and uh, different live capture techniques for minnows and other fish. We bait them, and then we actually set them in to see if there's any menu, uh, minnows um, or anything occupying uh, the reach or the habitat. When we're out in the field, we'll be looking for uh, moose sign, uh, aggressive moose sign bear sign, uh, bad places to walk like uh, boulder fields and stuff. We'll keep try to keep them away from there, so keep them from twisting ankles and uh, just keep them able to keep working after they're done this job. With our guides, we get to take them out and show them how to put out tobacco, how to honor the land, how to, to, how to speak to, to what they're working with, and they, they do it very well. It's the, the process, seeing the cooperation work so well. Um, if this is going to be the new standard for, for engagement for communities, this is how it should look on the ground. We'll use this information, much like the geoscience information, to just create an additional layer of, of maps uh, of information. And we'll, we'll use all of those layers to help uh, choose areas that may be suitable for drilling. Uh, the lens that we look through it on the environmental side is, is where we can potentially have the least amount of impact, or in some cases, if, if there's something that needs to be monitored or mitigated to make sure that we don't have that impact.